A blessings prayer warriors. God bless you on this Sunday, the 24th of September, as we continue to look up for our resurrection. Our everything is drawing nigh. Amen. Our redemption is drawing nigh. Glory be to God. Today is Sunday, services 9 and 11. Please keep uh, Byron Bay in, in prayer as they'll be meeting without their pastor today and pray for God's help and blessing there. Amen. Today we're praying for Bosnia and ha Javina. There you go on that one. And we're praying for New Hampshire and Vermont today. Amen. Our Bible reading is Galatians chapter 2. I have been crucified with Christ, verse 20. It is no longer I who lives, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. There are the nations that we'll be praying for today. So if you could see them there on the 24th day. And I got our states and I got our prayer request. Amen. Let's go ahead and pray. Father God, we do thank you for a new day. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, again, as we worship you and start off this Sunday, we give you the praise and the honor that's due your name. Father, I lift up before you, first of all, Karen Adams. I lift up before you, Byron Bay Christian Church. I lift up the elders and the leaders there for the decisions that they're going to have to make, Lord, on the uh, moving forward with their church. I pray for Karen, for all the wisdom as the uh, wake begins today, tomorrow, and then the funeral on Tuesday, Father. Give her the peace on this sudden passing, Lord, a sudden passing when you don't expect it, Lord. Greatest way for the person to go, but not the best for the rest of the family that has to pick up all the pieces now, Lord. So we just surround her with our love and we surround the church with our love. Father, I lift up the prayer cards that have come in this past week, Lord, and all the prayer requests online and every other means that they come in. And we lift up fellow brothers and sisters and we just pray. We pray, Almighty God, for you, the God of peace, the God of joy, the God of love, the God of comfort during times where we need comfort, Lord. And I thank you for that. We lift up our services today, the 9 and the 11, and again, Byron Bay and every church that's having services today. And I, I just pray that people that just played around with eternity, that their eyes would be open that they'll see that they could be a one that could have a heart attack and be gone, enter into a Christ eternity like Pastor Ken, or enter into a Christless eternity, which many do with no Savior and no hope of salvation for all eternity. How sad. In saying that, we pray for the people of the United States and we pray for the people of our world, Lord. And we lift these up before you and we pray, almighty God, for the lost, the unchurched, the unsaved. We call the ones in our communities to our church, Lord, or to a good church in our community, Lord. Lord, we know we're not the only ones and we'll never act like we're the only ones. You've given us a vision. You've given another church a vision. So many churches, Lord, though, are just playing games nowadays. We pray that they would see the urgency of the hour, that this world is getting crazy, that they want to take our children, they want to indoctrinate them and at such a young age. Lord, give us wisdom, give us strength, give us, um, grant unto thy servants boldness, boldness, Lord. We pray, help our United States, Lord. I can't believe what governors and mayors and Board of Educations and on and on are doing to these precious, precious children. And I know, Lord, you're going to take care of it. We pray. We lift up our world before you. I pray today for Bahrain, Qatar, UAE, Iran, Omar, Turkestan, Arbistan. 
We lift up these, again, Muslim nations, and we pray that they would come to the saving knowledge, the people would come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. We lift up ministries, Lord, all around, so many ministries that are doing great works for the kingdom of God. We pray over them, Lord, and we lift them up. Again, we lift up New Hampshire, Vermont, Bosnia, and this other nation, Lord, and we pray for the people, the leadership, members that are doing things for the kingdom of God. I pray this in Jesus' name. I lift up my brothers and sisters on this day, Lord, for your blessings upon them, their household, as they get ready for church, Lord, and those that are pray with us each day from Arizona or wherever it might be, your blessings upon them, Lord, as they go to church today, as they're a witness to their community. Why do those people get up early? Why do they go off to church? What's there? It's a witness in itself, Lord. America is like no other nation that we are still a Christian nation and we will be till that trumpet sounds. That's why we are looking up. We're living in warp speed days. Scripture is being fulfilled. Now, Father, I thank you again for all that you're going to do today, that Jesus will be glorified. Again, I pray for my brothers and sisters, your blessings upon them. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his confidence upon you and give you his shalom, shalom. Thank you again, Father, for your love. We do worship you. We praise you. And we look forward to that day of seeing you and our loved ones also. What a day of rejoicing that will be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hey, God is good. Amen. Hope to see you up there. Remember, the rapture is imminent. It can happen right now. This recording can keep on recording because nobody's on this end. Oh, man. Maybe today. What a day that'll be. <laughs> you are never going to laugh and, and have such joy until the time that trumpet sounds. That's why we are looking up. Living in warp speed days, scripture is being fulfilled. Hey, see you in a little bit. We wrap up our series on angels on assignment. Amen. God bless you. Have a great morning, noon, afternoon, evening, whatever it might be. God bless.